Return to the adventures of the twisted and very evil me T Yi, the big halberd of Jin. I have left the uh, the wizard society based on the fact that there's no magic. So again, unless we want to pull a rabbit out of the hat, it's a bit shit. So we're going to avoid that one until we've brought magic back to the world, which of course we can do by redeeming our bloodline or, or embracing the bloodline and being the true dark evil wizard we were destined to be. Next generation, we're probably going to move away from that somewhat though, because our our, our daughter and heir is actually very very good. She is just a just an average character, really humble, deceitful, patient, chaste. Authoritative, dishonorable. She's kind of a, uh, she's kind of a mixed bag, really. You know, obviously, obviously has a dark side to her, but it's generally kind of a good person. That kid, I really didn't make a, 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 as big a deal over this as I absolutely should have. So, CTE, our grandchild, yeah, grandchild, right? Hit this kid. It's so good. Not only has he got obviously strong and brawny, he's two with uh, with seven martial, twenty five personal combat. He does have four bloodlines. He's got that drop of dragon blood, which I didn't even think would inherit, but he actually does get that from from Gaemon Targaryen there, a very distant relative of Garth the Boar, who apparently, uh, even, even though it's not matrilineal transfer or patrilineal inheritance, because it doesn't have either of those, it will always inherit to all the kids. So if this guy just went off and had a load of bastards with, with random women, that those would too inherit the bloodlines. And conversely, if he had a sister who just had a bunch of kids as well, that those would also inherit because there are just no inheritance laws to that. Don't know how it works. Maybe just it would disappear quicker than regular bloodlines or something like that, but that is, uh, that's kind of cool. We have dragon taming chance, hatching chance, which are both relevant. It's just basically 0 0.1 monthly prestige for us. But this kid, this kid is very nice. I mean, I'm enjoying some of these really cool bloodlines we've got right there. The martial bonuses especially, they're obviously very cool. Tends to become hunters, tall and strong. Maybe that's not what we want so much, seeing as we're, we're sort of supposed to be a bit more dark wizards. So I guess learning style would be a bit more appropriate for this guy. But it's kind of cool either way. So we have a lot of options with what we can do left with this guy. I mean, I feel like we've achieved a lot with him already, and I'm kind of happy for his story to sort of naturally come to a close. Probably either when he's assassinated, pushed over a balcony, or just dies of all of this various magical corruption and whatnot. So we've got the option to go out. We can even go on a world tour if we want to try and build up some artifacts and whatnot. Go out is actually added by the additional buildings mod. That will allow us to find some weird shit, including some weird alchemy. I, I just feel like the alchemist guild for this dynasty might be more appropriate for, for the future seeing as, you know, Cult of Star Wisdom is fine. It's just the base game of Lucifer's own society, and we still need magic, don't forget. So, even if we bring magic back, it's just going to let us taint it touch. The Alchemist Guild, though, gives you some w real weird shit if magic is back and we get up to those higher levels. So, this might be just more appropriate. Now, here's the other thing to point out, which I noticed and I thought was, it was pretty good. When we were in the middle of the Mega War, obviously all the states break off, and then they have the choice to join the war or try and break free or whatever else, and, and um, or can remain neutral like what we did. We built during that time something like four different, uh, four four different imposing obelisks in our various different provinces that we own. So we've got one there, one there, one there, and I believe one up here as well. Yeah, those obelisks. When we when the mega war ended and we became a vassal of the Emperor of Yuti again, those obelisks became the Emperor of Yuti's Ash, Ash Gray Emperor Chai Luk. He now has those four obelisks and has to pay all the upkeep and has to pay for. All of them, which I think is incredible. We've just basically palmed off all the building costs on this guy. Now, obviously, we won't get to use the, the, the obelisk, and we won't get to control them or build them or upgrade them until we either become independent or take control of the Empire. But it, I just thought it was kind of funny that we've just lumbered in with this massive debt now. Granted, he's got 900,000 gold because everything's just everything's just broken, huh? Let's go out. Let's go out. We, could, we can go on a tour, but that's just your basic world tour where you just go to visit different provinces, maybe get a little bit of armor or weapon or something like that. Go out, though, is added by the special buildings mod, and I've not seen all of the outcomes from this. And there is one outcome that I've read of that I think would be really, really, really cool if we could find it. So, it is peace, and you disguise, you decide to disguise yourself to disguise yourself. When you stroll through the streets, you can smell something weird from a small alley. You, when you, uh, you also hear loud voices ahead, but where do you go? So we can say, oh, what's the smell? I have to find out. We'll go ahead. These voices sound foreign. Now, uh, we have done this very briefly before in what series was it? It was probably in the Storm King series or the, or the Blood of Valeria or, or one of those. We didn't get to see one of the really cool outcomes, which I'm definitely looking forward to. Let's go for what is this smell I have to find out. Now, this might also allow us to get in touch with some black markets or visit weird alchemists and whatever else. Let's do it. Ah, okay, this is kind of cool. This is one of the ones I was hoping for there. So in front of you is a very small shop. A customer has loudly complained about the high price. You can smell chemical substances a pyromancer would use. Feel like pyromancy suits our guy a lot, but seeing as there's no real magic, we'll just use chemicals instead. You enter the shop and a pale old man with glassy eyes greets you. Want to look at your wares? I like the alchemy. I offer you patronage and your own workshop. If we do that, we get to build a unique building. We can build him his own building in our capital. Might be a good idea. Or we say, what is this? I don't, don't sell your foul magic leave. Gain some piety, but there's a chance of us getting rude. Um, so this will allow us to buy an artifact 
This will allow us to setting up as a permanent thing within our court. Sort of like a Kyburn, but for our realm. I think that one to start off with might be the best one. We can always go out and buy these wares another time. Let's do it. Chance of us getting fire obsessed as well. Oh shit, wow. 50 gold. Come on, game fire obsessed. Then we could then we could do so much. <gasps> he actually got it, the fucking madman. Holy shit. Yes, okay. So that will allow us to join the Alchemist's Guild. A mad fire obsessed emperor who worships dark uh, worships dark and evil gods. I'm in. I'm absolutely in. This is this is exactly where I wanted to go with this campaign. When you have held court and judgments on the matters of the realm, many of your subjects found your rulings, proclamations, rather authoritarian and lacking any consistency. You know what? Good. Because we are arbitrary, we can gain 21 gold, we can gain 5 tyranny and 5 fear, or we can try and become depressed and say, oh, I'll, I'll do better. No. I am the law. We are absolutely the law. We've revoked all of our vassal titles. We've eaten most of the... Why would you lose arbitrary for saying you are the law? Are you fucking joking? That doesn't make any sense, CK2. But, we have eaten most of our court. We have revoked all of our vassal titles, so I feel like arbitrary works. Oh, we ate our wife and our son, I remember now. Yeah, that's real. That's real tragic. How many members are of House Yi T? Sorry, T Yi are left? Six living members. Because we're not a, a descendant from the original line, it's a little bit confusing the commentary. I'll fix that at some stage so that we can actually see it in a bit better detail. So, this cultural building is really, really cool. You get three levels of Imperial Pikes, and those give. I mean, pikemen are already good units anyway. Those are. Basically going to be the backbone of our army. If we ever want to go for independence, that should be really, really what we focus on here. So you need to build the Yeetish barracks, and then after that you can just build your various amounts of pikemen. Can we go out again? I want to, I want to do that. We could go on a tour as well, I guess. Oh, we're not going to be a commander. I'm going to, I'm going to resign, because I feel like you're holding me back here, my lord. Thank you very much. So we could go on a world tour. We can donate to the guild. Of course, I should do that whenever we've got the option to. And we can hire an alchemist. Not much point yet... Because the, the guild haven't given us permission to learn the secrets of wildfire or anything like that. But for the time being, we'll wait. Let's just go on a grand tour. Do we want to? Oh. Oh, if you're within the ET, you can only... Right, you can only do a tour of your own realm. Sure, I'll make a royal progress of Jin then. I'm sure that people would love to meet their illustrious and benevolent King Mi-Ti-Yi, the Big Halberd. They, he likes to be called King Big Halberd. It makes him, makes him feel good about losing all of his obelisks. You will visit nine of your vassal nobles. Um, we're going to visit everybody, huh? I wouldn't call them nobles, let's be honest. They're just, just random mares and shit. What happens if you revoke all the titles? Then what? You know, let's not worry about it. I think I'm just going to break the game. What size entourage would you like to take into a royal progress? A large choice to make will be more burdensome on your vassals, but will be more impressive to the common peasants. Yeah, okay. Vassal opinion minus four, but it lowers revolt risk. Fuck our vassals. Let's not have the peasants rise up. We want the peasants to worship the ground we work on. Huge entourage of nobles and soldiers. Going to cross 100 gold. We're getting 100 prestige as well. We should do this as much as we can, huh? Okay, this is very cool. Your Highness, your... Entourage is awaiting instruction for your next destination on the Royal Progress. Select your next destination by interacting with one of your vassals and select visit on tour. Um, I don't think we can visit these people. So we just pause now and then we sort by, I don't know, rank and then... Yeah, we actually can't do it because we have no vassals. I guess, I don't think they ever accounted for the full North Korea mode playthrough. To be fair, we've only got five out of five. We're not even above our domain size Amara King. Um, visit on tour. Am I blind? I... No, I, I don't think so. I, it's definitely not just me not being able to see it right. Maybe we click on a province. But all the provinces are ours. That's the only problem. Um, it's, it's like right-click on the banner, something like that. Nope, we actually can't do anything. I hope we're not stuck permanently on tour now. Shit. I think I might have got a man permanently stuck on tour. Oh, no. This is really... Yep. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. I guess I didn't ever expect that to happen. Um, we can't even go and visit. Okay, what happens if I say, uh, what I'm thinking is because they're lowborn characters. So let's go on this guy. Raised to nobility. That's a, council said no to that. Fuck him. Who cares? Uh, can we visit on tour now that he's highborn? Nope. Oh, god damn it. Oh, I bet that guy was on the council and because I raised him to highborn or something, he got fired or something along those lines. Maybe he was our trade master. Yeah, this is broken. We've broken the game. Well done, everyone. As if the three million gold and the Carthian plague and everything else didn't contribute to that. Um, is it just going to end? No. Can, can I go home? Can we cancel... Cancel Royal Tour? Establish a bank. Stewardship 16. I think we just need 16 stewardship. Oh, man, that'd be kind of cool. Um, we're not far off. We could take the rulership folks and maybe get a couple of traits there. Establish a bank. Yeah, that suits a... We are a greedy ruler, right? Greedy, cruel, and paler. That's banks for you. Okay, we can do that. Um, please let me cancel my tour, for the love of God. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to do some bloody save editing now, aren't I? Okay, I think we're good now. We're home. That was a very fun tour. We sat in the courtyard for a few months, 
and then decided to go back indoors. Well done, well done everyone. Well done. Give yourselves a clap. That was, that was incredible. Um, so trust Smith, right, we can do that again, can't we? So well, let's go and forge some armor. Might save our life. Not that anyone would ever try and kill their glorious and illustrious emperor uh, slash king. What are we? I think we have delusions of grandeur. That's what we are. Okay, search for an alchemist, and we might as well hire them now, seeing as, uh, so that there's a little bit of difficulty associated with the alchemist guild that we might find in this campaign. So the alchemist guild will only give you missions and, and certain tasks if their local representative likes you enough. Now, don't know if you noticed, we're not a very likable guy. Um, you got minus 100 vassal opinion, and we are dishonorable. General opinion minus 10. And I guess because we're cannibal on everything else as well, Lidge is tyrant, Lidge. Oh, we count as his Lidge. Yeah, of course we do, because he's in our court. So I hope the local representative, whoever that would be for the guild, like this guy, still fucking hates us. Oh, God. Crazy cannibal, minus 50. I don't think we're going to be able to progress throughout the guild at all, because the local guy will just hate us too much. Well, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. We might be just completely fucked with every society with this guy. It's almost like being just a complete psychopath doesn't really work out for us. Splint male armor is not fantastic, but we'll take it for the time being. So can we now go on a heist? Are we allowed to go on a heist? Let's take a look. So who was it we were? Oh, yeah, it was the Warlocks of Karth. Now, what was the reason we couldn't go on a heist last time? Um, oh, wait, the High Warlock lost his entire treasury. He lost the Dragon Binder? Oh, shit. Well, let's hope that that hasn't completely disappeared then. Let's, let's try and see, see if we can dig that up again. Dragon Binder. Maybe someone else stole it. Oh, there's another Chief Warlock? Hang on, Chief Warlock of... So who are you then? Hi, Warlock. What the fuck? Democracy of Karth, City of Karth. So there's a Chief Warlock and a High Warlock. How confusing. Okay, um, so here is the Chief Warlock. Now, why was it we could not steal the Dragonbinder last time? Um, not time to steal an artifact recently. Oh, we've just done it too soon. We've got to wait two more years, but then we can actually go for it. I remember what it was before. We were trying to abduct the guy, and of course, you can't abduct anyone who's a Duke or higher, which is the only thing the Starry Wisdom can actually do right now, which is why I left. Okay, it's all coming back together. Holy shit, we've actually expanded? Have we really? Uh, it kind of looks... I mean, no, that's still Trader Town. I feel like they've just uh, they've just combined a little bit, which could be a bit more worrying. That's not going to help out the Golden Empire. So how the hell are we going to get independence then? Um... He's got 19,000 men. We have 10,000. What? So if we broke apart, I don't think there's any chance of us forming any sort of faction, is there? Um, we could try and go for independence, but of course people are unlikely to join the faction just because... Yeah, depose the Emperor. We could join that one then. Uh, oh my god. Riding through the countryside together with Massport, I come, come across a lonely inn. It is empty aside from a nervous-looking innkeeper who nevertheless promises food and wine at a reasonable price. By the God Emperor, what is that infernal smell? Hope here, save me. Hope here, my friend. I, I grant upon you the honorary title of Court Jester. Entertain me for the rest of your days. Um, oh my God. Someone tried to blow us up. Someone actually, the whole world hates us and they still can't kill us. I love it. It's so good. Who is trying to kill us then? We actually don't know. Who's our spy master? Uh, my daughter, who's also apparently dishonorable. Do you ever get the feeling? Do you ever get the feeling that maybe putting a dishonorable woman who hates you as your spy master might backfire? What a shocker. Really, you think so? Wow, absolute genius. You know what? I feel like someone I feel like someone might be trying to kill our man. I feel like someone might be trying to kill our man, given that they filled the floorboards with explosives. Weird. So we actually do have 52% of the Legion's power. Um, does that take into account... Does that take into account all of his vassals as well? Yeah, no, that is just almost all of his vassals. Could potentially reinforce another 8,000 men. I mean, if we were going for independence, now certainly wouldn't be a bad time for it. 52% leech. But you got to remember, though, we have a lot of slaves who are... Oh, but so do they. Huh. I was going to say they have a lot of... we have a lot of slaves who are all just garbage troop types, but I imagine that's true of everybody in... That's true of everybody in UT. And I imagine we're a little bit better at managing slaves than them. And they certainly want up the morale bonuses. Man, this could be... This could be a perfect time for independence. Form when a new batch of Unsullied is available, and then maybe after that stage, we might want to just roll with it. Let's host a mighty tournament. So we are... This is... We're kind of in a very, very, very unique situation for anybody outside of Westeros. That we can hold tournaments, we can name people squires, and knights, whatever, because we ourselves are a knight. So does that mean we could go to this kid, our grandson, and name him a squire? Uh... We could grant him a knighthood when he's older than 14. Oh, but he has to either publicly follow the faith of seven or worship the seven. Why the fuck were we allowed to become a knight then? Because we don't fit either of those. Is that because we became a squire first? We've just got to hope that Garth the Boar, like Garth did with us, because this is kind of weird, but the, uh, the man who's married to our daughter educated us. So if he takes his son 
honors a squire as well. Our, our daughter's son there honors a squire as well. This kid could also become a knight. Now, knighthoods give us access to making other people knights, obviously, taking on people as a squire. More importantly, they allow us to have tournaments, which are obviously kind of uh, just a big event, really. I think you can get some stats from them. Not necessarily a good or evil thing to do, just kind of middle ground and something for the realm, really. Let's do it. Maybe some people will die, and then, the, then you will please the emperor slash king. What are we? We're a king. I spend lavishly on food. Yeah, um... What type? What do we want to do for a fee? Oh, we will spend lavishly on food, all right. Yeah, we'll we'll spend lavishly on the food. <laughs> Speaking of which, her talents will be useful here. Join me. It's blood sports. It's it's blood sports. Let's place a bet on the blood sports. Absolutely. So I want Sir Garth. I want to put a, a bet on Sir Garth that he will win this tournament. And if he fails, we'll have him executed. Place a bet on the tournament. Let's put on a massive bet. 40... Massive bet of 40 gold. Yep, well done. Fine, Joust. I feel like he's absolutely got it in the bag. 165 person to come out. The only knight in the fucking round. He's the only man who actually knows how to joust. The summer fair brings all kinds of entertainers to Jin. We're not very lifelike or mockery. What else? Cynical. Temple Vassal Opinion Lower and Intrigue. Absolutely, he would go for that one. Chuck this woman in prison. The woman who saved my life because we... She's mocking us. Nobody mocks the glorious emperor slash king. Off to prison with her. Can we eat her? That's the that's the only thing. I, I mean, that's that's the only thing relevant to this campaign now. Devour her. Execute this woman. Has she got any artifacts? Nope. Devour this woman. Eat her whole. Eat eat her whole. Not eat her whole. W h o l e. Obviously. But burn her. Burn her. Maybe maybe roast her. Might be more appropriate. Unsurprisingly, the only knight in this part of the world who knows how to joust won the tournament. Very strange. Excellent. It's time for my four yearly going out. The <laughs> last time we just sat in the courtyard for months, but this time we're actually going to go visit something. Um, ideally, we'd like to find another crazed alchemist so we could buy some fancy magical artifacts from him. Uh, what's his smell? Oh, God. You see a butcher in front of you. Several people are complaining about his foul meat. Nobody complains about his foul meat. That's why they call him the Big Halberd. Okay, uh, smell something is off. The meat looks good. Give me some of it. We can eat the meat and feed it to the feet. Eight foul meat giving us minus 0 0.5 health, 0 point... Oh, just, just minus one month's prestige. That's quite significant. Iron stomach gives us plus one health and plus one month's prestige. We can, uh... Once we've profit, we've time to close shop, which absolutely seems like something that the big halberd would do. Let's be honest, this guy has probably got a stomach made of fucking lead at this stage. So let's absolutely go for it. 10% chance of getting brave. He's a brave man. Do, do not die of food poisoning. My god, he actually did it. And who said that eating all those prisoners wouldn't pay off, including my wife and son? Raiders from the mythical land of Westeros of all places. Ah, Errol the Northman. Dawn breaks and the caravan prepares to move. The merchant insists on leaving you a gift as thanks for your great hospitality. He shouts a terse command in a foreign language as a young man comes forward. This unit will serve you well. The merchant says, his loyalty to you, his new master, will be beyond reproach. Very thank, very thank you, my friend. Welcome, Errol, to the glorious court of, uh, eat him. Just fucking eat him. Just, Errol, you will serve me well. You will, you will serve me. Lash him first. It tenders the meat. And then we and then we devour him. Uh, can we not eat people anymore? <gasps> Crush him to death. No, just just devour him. There we go. We've never tasted Northman before. Oh, taste taste bitter and sooty. Oh, I want to found a bank. I feel like if there is, who else would be more appropriate for a banker than a mad impaler, cannibal, fire obsessed, greedy lunatic man? He's not even a lunatic. I like to point out. He's he's apparently a by CK2 logic, fully sane of mind. Now here's the weird thing. We are actually not that far off of becoming. Uh, uh, becoming capable of, of founding a bank here. So if we take a look, we only need the 16 stewardship. You have to not be in a society, and to be honest, we can't do anything with the Alchemist God anyway, for exactly what I said earlier. So we could just leave that and found our own bank. The glorious bank, the blood bank. <gasps> On the front, we we trade in coin and loans, but at the background, we, we serve the finest meat of all. B blood? Well, man, but you kind of get what I'm getting. The blood bank of Yin. This is so good. Yin? Zin? Jin? What are we called? Okay, so we need 16 stewardship. How the hell do we get 16 stewardship then? That's our goal for today. Uh, we've got 11. We could lose arbitrary and stressed by... How could we lose stressed quickly? Um, family focus does not suit. And we could go rulership. Uh, gives us a plus one stewardship anyway. We're already an, we're an amateur trader, right? So we're not even... Uh... Okay, so we actually can't upgrade that anymore. We're already just trader. So I think we go for rulership. R we're going to learn to rule. 
so that the people will fear us. We're going to learn to rule with an iron fist, an iron grip. What's the expression? We're going to learn to rule the people with fear. <laughs> Weird deja vu again. You hear about a strange butcher in town. Very cheap and very tasty. What's the worst that could happen? I'll take it by. Hey, do you want to found a bank with me? You seem like a trustworthy fella. Tell by the beard. Okay. Uh, I'll take a bite. Yeah, absolutely. Fertility and health bonuses. Oh, no. What a merry feast, surrounded by friends and loved ones. I feel of the thirst coming on page. More wine. That, that doesn't smell right. So Garth, the honorable fool, once again, saving us from a certain death. I can feel death breathing down my neck. Who would want me dead? I, I fear I shall never know. Uh, is it fucking everyone? Is our daughter becoming increasingly... Oh, it's our wife. Hang on. I'm sorry. It's CK2 things now. Is she becoming increasingly dishonorable? She hasn't become any more dishonorable for a time. Did she have like a kill list or anything? I wonder what she's not known murderer. Unless she's killing people quietly, but if you kill people quietly, you don't get found out to be dishonorable. Unless she's attempted murder and failed. She got any rivals? No? I have no clue what could be causing that then. Huh. Weird. Okay. Well, someone's trying to kill us, and I think we will probably never find out, because there's no way in hell we're going to convince our spy master to uncover a plot. Ah! Oh, do we go to a feast? Of course. We shall show him our new and favorite dish, the, the glorious, uh, we, we call it a lovely gin blood sausage. Your Highness, we have received word from Aspol that new batch of Unsullied are ready. Of course, we will make an offer to buy them. Um, no Unsullied are available presently. Oh, fuck me then, I guess. Okay, bear with me here. We want independence, right? How about rather than going for a very overt, very obvious independent faction... We join a faction looking to depose the Emperor. So either depose the Emperor or Prince Chalai for Yi-T... Uh, Chai La, sorry, for Yi T. Then, when the war breaks out, we declare independence then, while he's massively distracted with an otherwise huge civil war between three different, I mean, potentially three different kings there. Now, I don't know how well that would work. Would we be able to declare independence because we'd already be at war with him? I think we'd be called in as an ally. We could leave the faction just as they're about to push demands, which I think would give us the ability to... Ah! Oh. Right, he just gave him some land. I thought he gave us a vassal then. No! There's a presence of someone behind you. Garth, save me. Your guards and servants immediately rush into the cry of help, but they turn out what they thought was a noise with nothing there. You could have sworn there was someone behind you. Is it just because our man is paranoid? Is he paranoid? He is paranoid. Huh. This is a bit... This is a bit strange. Oh, no. We have righteous imprisonment on Kitty Yi. A beloved, beloved daughter who my guy doesn't really care about too much. All right. What's she done wrong, then? What's she done wrong? Uh, I, I imagine she's attempted murder on us. Let's take a look at our opinion of her. Uh, attempted murder minus 80. Oh, so it is her that's trying to kill us. Prince. So our opinion of... Yeah, it is her that's trying to kill us. Why have we not been alerted to this previously? Weird. Um, question is, do we imprison our good heir? Who is only guilty of the crimes of trying to kill us? Uh, a very... I think a, a morally questionable man. Or... Do we just need to turn a blind eye to it? And apparently our guy doesn't know what's causing it by the event. We're going to leave it just because it will fuck us for the next sort of 50 years otherwise. Let's not worry about that too much. What I'm going to worry about is heading over to this my good friend Chief Warlock of Carth. And we still can't steal artifact. You're joking. Uh, another... Okay, October this year. So seven more months we can actually go for the Dragonbinder Horn. Might be irrelevant. But I think it's just a great artifact to have lying around. Oh, bollocks. I was kind of hoping we'd have a chance to respond to it before he just straight up called us in. That was instant. It's been a long time since I played in any sort of faction. Okay, fine. Prince Charlie of Trader Town has called us into Prince Charlie of Trader Town's War for Yi-T. Um, so, here's how we'll do it then. Slightly different strategy. We'll cause absolute chaos and destruction, siege as much shit as possible within the Yeetish capital. Then we'll go for independence after that, after we've sown all the, the, the chaos and destruction and whatever, because then they'll be incredibly weak. What we should do is really just sit around and only defend our own our, our own realm. And just not worry about the Yeetish army, not wipe out our own troops or anything like that. Let them fight between themselves, because that way whoever wins, we are going to be able to defeat them in war. We're already 52% of his army size anyway, so if they fight each other and really beat each other down, we can swoop for our independence after the fact. We do, however, need to win, though, as well, don't we? Otherwise, we'll be imprisoned and most likely, almost certainly, absolutely, definitely executed. Um... Okay, this is a risky play. Suitable for only this Maniac Ruler. Uh, so those guys are going to get clapped probably pretty quickly as we start reinforcing there. Are they moving a lot? They are. When are they going to get here by uh, 24th or 7th moon? Those guys are going to get there by... Okay, we actually might be able to take this. It's 5,000 men, so it's not even a massive loss either way. And they're crossing over without any river crossing by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, so there's no river crossing or anything. I'm going to move those over. Those guys should stop moving. No, nope, those guys are also moving a lot, so they're going to get killed. Oh, shit, we might have them regardless. Come on, reinforce. 
Hey, we won both battles. Nice work, nice work, nice work. Okay. Get our armies together at Zin. Whoa, whoa, those guys went independent too. This is big. We've caused a lot of chaos in UT right now. This is great. Okay. Um, that one, of course, we've got in the bag. Let's not worry about slaves right now. We've got bigger fish to fry, uh, including the Emperor, apparently. Get our best commanders on there. So me, let's get Jop and let's get Vok as well. We can raise a couple more troops as Oh, they're up there. Okay. Um, me in the Yeetish capital. 41% war score again. I don't want to do too much, but sitting in his court and sieging his stuff down isn't exactly going to kill off a lot of our troops. It's getting into big battles with like 14,000 men. That's what we want to avoid here. But we want to do enough so that we also win the war. This siege looks to be an absolute piece of cake. I don't know why his capital is here when it's barely got any defenders, given that we had to siege our, I mean, our capital. Dutch has, what, like 10,000 defenders? Something ridiculous like that? Uh, garrison size. Oh, it's a lot lower now. Why? Castle? Oh, slave camp. Right. Okay, gives a massively lower. And it's winter as well. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. That's that's all right. It doesn't really matter too much. But his capital is, is really shitty compared to ours. 55 gold. I wish every year could be like this, he says, from his solid gold tower. Speaking of which, let's build ourselves a nice solid gold statue. Of, if, if it's not us, that man is going to be cooked out alive and then eaten. Obviously cooked alive. Your Highness. Wait, why did I say that? You don't cook animals alive, you weird man. Well, you might not. Your Highness. We have taken Fujin, but the Ash Grey Emperor is not here. Put his family in the dungeon. Put his family in the dungeon. There we go. You're welcome, by the way. I think this wall's basically in the bag. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to risk any assaults. We're going to do the very minor amount just to help this wall go a little bit smoother. Ooh. Well, that's good. At least they didn't spawn on this side of the world, huh? So that's uh, that's fine. The White Walkers of Winter, 104. Oh, shit. Well, I mean, that's, that's sort of to be expected. The Iron Throne, it seems to be fairly unified. We've got Eddard the Second. Was that Rob Stark's son? Yeah, we've got uh, Aemon the Bear of the Iron Throne. That's Robert Baratheon's grandson. Robert Baratheon's grandson, inverted cop. Commas. Seems fairly stable. It doesn't seem like a particularly nice ruler, though. Tyrant and Dishonorable. That's rich coming from us. Yeah, okay, they'll probably beat the White Walkers this time around, so nothing nothing really excited to see there, unfortunately. Monument promised by Master Gok is finished. Some people in the crowd cover their eyes, cover their children's eyes, so the statue is unveiled. It's the middle of a couple in lovemaking. Oh, good. Um, it's a couple in the middle of, like, it's the middle of a couple in lovemaking, and not exactly presented in a tasteful way. Uh, it's, it, it's 69. It's, it's 69. I've got, got to tell you the truth. Children must learn this sooner or later. Yeah, they must. They must. Absolutely. He's done, a, he's done a duty for the realm. Okay, I figured, like, I know I said I didn't want to lose the troops or anything. We do have to stay in here because uh there's like an army of 11,000 wandering around now and i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna go crazy i'm not gonna specifically hunt them down but i'm just gonna stay close so that we don't start losing war score here am i moving and crush these guys we're at 91 percent so taking war score might just win this for us here um honor with a yt heirloom i owe nothing oh you nothing get out get the fuck out of here right 92 percent are they gonna be able to count siege that almost certainly oh yeah they've done that instantly okay we might have to go and kill this army Boom, there we go. All it required was a, was a handful of mercenaries there. So we've just got to wait for those guys to hopefully end their war now. And independence for us. Oh, that was? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. So now it will probably say something along the lines of, oh, the rounds, the world's rounds are ended. There you go. It's telling us about we've got to win favor with the alchemists, which of course we're not going to be able to do. So it should say, let us back into the... There we are. Okay. So can we now roll for independence? Let's give it a go. Drop the troops. Drop the troops. Let's go to our emperor. Our new emperor, Charles, either man we put on the throne who apparently hates us because he's a dick. And then we say independence he's got forty-seven thousand men how oh because we've got like thirteen thousand men that we've just bought okay um we've got twenty-one thousand. i feel like it was a waste of time uh despite the fact that we wiped out their entire army they've 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 pulled more troops out of their asshole has this guy got like a higher has he got a higher marshal stat yeah he does okay so he's just a more military adept emperor that's a bit annoying okay then does that would character strike you as a particularly sane and just man does he strike you as a particularly sensible fella if you answered yes to that, you need serious, serious help. But here's what I'm thinking. Their troops are spread across the country quite significantly now. If we go for independence, two other dukes want to join us. Oh, no, those guys are joining over there. Okay, so we're actually only fighting. That's what I was kind of banking on here. Not all of the all of the vassals of UT. Some have just remained neutral. Some are not bothered by it at all. This guy's got 8,000. Uh, this guy is the same man with 8,000. This guy has 11,000. We're looking at 19,000 plus another 16,000. Oh, fuck. That's a lot of troops. I think the vassal calculation might be slightly fucked. Because if, if my maths is, is okay off the top of my head, with our army subtracted from what he had, that does not add up even remotely. Because he's got, like, what, 30,000 men there? Maybe even higher? Okay, good. <laughs> Fine. I'm not, wor not worried about that. Oh. What? The Yellow Emperor executed my fucking... Beheaded my tiny grandson? Are you joking? 
and imprison the other. The opposition against him in the war. I think we've shown who's the true monster today. That's right, mankind. Mankind. I mean, we are also mankind. Where's his capital? His capital's all the way up in Trader Town. Fucking burn it. Let's just rush it down and torch the place. Fuck it. Luck. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. 26, 26, 16. Oh, my God. Uh, 26, 26, 22. That's a hell of an army. That's a hell of an army. There we go. There we go. There we go. Wait, what have we got? Oh, is that just from holding? Yeah, okay. We might just be able to win this from ticking war score alone. Boom, 26%. Right, so they are sending their armies. Can we catch them? They've only got jungle there, so this is the best time to go for it, in my opinion. If we just do this, guerrilla warfare, striking at them in the jungles, over river crossings for our own terrain, where our troops can reinforce. And then we just wait for ticking war score to eventually let us win this war. I think this could work. Prepare to die, scum. Noi, 100 personal combat versus zero in CK2 rules. That means that we are now dead. Fuck, that's actually very lucky. Thank you. Game of Thrones does do a little bit of rebalancing in that regard. Thank fuck. This is it. Just back and forth, back and forth. War of attrition. Keeping our men reinforced. Because, of course, we're in home territory, so they will reinforce. I haven't got to worry about supply here either or anything like that. Just sit in and around Jin. They might say that one, though. Uh, do we want to... Do you want to go and deal with that? There's only 9,000 men, and that would give us a nice hefty amount of war score, because we are... Oh, we're the attacker, though. As long as we control all of our holdings, it won't matter. This could be a, a very clever ploy by the air to lure us away. I'm going to go for it anyway. No troops or river crossing there. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Terrain or river crossing there to worry about. Let's do it. Let's, let's chase them down. They're actually fleeing all the way into the Jogos Nai territory. This is cool. Still nothing. This is all planes. Come on. Take them down. There we go. 95% war score. Wait. Are we not capped at 75% battle war score? Oh, we are, but we control 58% already from just this small amount of time? Holy shit, this was... Ex we're done. That was it. That was extremely generous. Extremely generous. Way too overpowered. Wow. 62% of that war score was just from us... From him not being able to siege anything. That was way too easy. That was way, way, way too easy. Done. And now, you look upon the independent prince... I mean, that guy's dead, but you now look upon the independent province of Jin. We also got Fujin back as well. Sorry, my friend. Sorry, my friend. It's just, it's just business. You know how it do. Uh, does that mean we are... Oh, we're fully in control of everything. We're, we're fully in control of the, the realm, the, the succession, which, by the way, is going to primogeniture. Good fucking buy with that one. Uh, wow, that's um, that's massive. That's actually huge for us here. And we can start rebuilding all of our obelisks as well. Yes, black obelisks in every single province. Uh, put one here. Put one here if you don't mind. Sorry, I need another. I need a. I need another giant obelisk. This is cool. Actually, way more progress than I ever anticipated. If we can get that 16 stewardship as well, we can still build our bank, which is the other thing I really wanted to do today. Fortunately, we're not going to have time because that is everything said and done. I suppose the last thing we could do though is go on a bit of a fancy heist, because that way we can at least get some of the cooldown done before tomorrow, huh? Let's do it. Steal artifact. Give me that dragon binder. This will be the cherry on the cake. Who do we take with us? Our daughter. We'll take Garth. I think what takes a Garth the Borks obviously is fantastically skilled in Marshall. We're skilled in Marshall as well. Maybe that was a bad choice in hindsight. Fuck it. Kick the door in. 96% chance of success. Boom. We're in. I, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming we're in. I doubt we're going to fail that one. Rush them before they raise the alarm. 95% chance of success. Now, we're going to struggle on this one, I think. 64, 62, 62. Even then, it's not bad. Search frantically they're making a lot of noise. It just depends on a little bit of everything. I have no idea what that means. I guess it's based on the fact that, you know, we're a genius, maybe. So that might contribute to it. Learning probably contributes to it. Come on. Dragon mind the horn. Oh. And that, my friends is the metaphorical cherry on this metaphorical kingdom cake of Jin, with its five black obelisks representing the happy birthday candles of freedom and democracy in inverted democracy inverted commas with your tyrant primogeniture eternal king good work on the plus side that might also stop the ai from uh lost a minor war that's good so we, we actually want to the other thing i was concerned about here is they might actually reform the religion before we get a chance to because they have the moral authority and they have the provinces. But that's really dealt them a blow. A couple of wars that they've lost there have, have, have eroded away from the moral authority. And they like, what, 50%? That's good. I think we've bought ourselves a little bit of time there. Thank you all for watching. Tomorrow, the Black Obelisks, they do grow. They do grow into a mighty powerful realm. The realm of the Black Obelisk will rise. Whether or not we will continue down this dark path as our next character. I mean, she's been trying to kill her father all her life. I feel like she's already established herself as a bit of a cock. Um, and by cock, I mean just really na naughty evil woman. Thank you to 
the naughtiest women of all, the insane top tier level patrons for making this series possible in the first place. A big thank you to Aiden W, Alchemia, Anthony Golia, Suna Kirito, Matt Moses, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Croesus, Donald, Fukuna Vasquez, Ghost of Protocol, Gogolus, Sarik, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Muller, Muskraffle, Napus Casanova 1, Necrofen, and Pelvis Presley, Road in Rich Clark, Scott, Skaz, Somnus, The Forsaken One, Tibac Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Vacuus Packers, William Green, and Zazzy7011 for their support, the insane tier lovers on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible in the first place. Hope you guys are enjoying. Just Plan as a batshit crazy full North Korea mode, etc., etc. Something that we've never really done in CK2 before because it is, it's a little bit insane and it is a little meta gaming despite how much I'm trying to play the character. It's, it does make the game way too easy, or as, as apparently demonstrated there. Three million gold doesn't hurt either. Thank you as well to Uru, U Uru. Uwu, Asaro, Adam Person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anka, Attila, Austin Taylor, Bordoon, Ben Trope, Bestmans Max, Better Valorant, Black Double H, Sedini, Chris, Corey CA, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connie 217, Emerald Beam, Exploded Knees, Gaz, Genji Zerker, Grey, Haji Demar, Icarus, Icy the Great, Ida C, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, James Shea, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yoranda Vries, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Alana Thomas, Luke Wallace, Mustolp, Monty, Mostly Samson, Nathaniel Limberg, Nathan Flores, Nostros, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Samu, Panthapal, Payback 1 through 7, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch Billionaire, Ryan Hooper, Sagatair, Sam Kears, Shari, Smirtworm, Smooth Octopus, Socrates, Super Nanny 089, The Insane Pickle, The One Ring, Valonkri, Varagon, Voodoo Mumbo, Will Wade, Wilson, Atef, Wolfie, Yorkus, Zach, and Zico 2. I don't think I said The Insane Pickle. Thank you, Pickle. And thank you to all of these people for making the channel possible. See you guys all tomorrow for... Just madness. This is like the world's worst CK2 series because it's just fucking nuts.